Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. And so for today's vlog, we will be fixing this smoke detection system fault that we have on the bridge. Since I'm already on the bridge, the first thing that I did is to disable all the detectors that belongs to this smoke detection system. For everyone's information, our fire alarm system is divided into different loops. And on that loops are also different zones and on that zones are individual addresses so what we did is just to log in onto our fire detection panel we will disable all those smoke detectors under this smoke detection system we need to do this so that the fire alarm will not be sounded as well as it will not create noise onto the bridge at this time it is still morning so the second officer and his duty AB are still resting so we don't want to disturb them I'm showing you right now the proper way on how to disable that specific zone so that once you will encounter the same panel then you will know on how to do this disablement process after that I went to the ship's control center to take this gas detector device we need to use this gas detector device since we will be entering onto the CO2 room. The cargo hold smoke detection system is located inside this CO2 room. We also need to test this manually to ensure that the sensors are working fine. As you can see, after the oxygen went down, then this multi-gas detector sounded. It means that if we are inside this CO2 room, we need to evacuate the area. After that, I need to ensure that this CO2 room is properly ventilated. So, I switch on this exhaust fan. Normally, this exhaust fan should always be running to ensure that the CO2 is properly ventilated. As we all know that since this is a CO2 room, it is filled with a lot of CO2 bottles. And once there is a bottle that is leaking, this CO2 room will just be filled with CO2. As soon as I get here, this is the alarm that is flashing into our smoke detection system, Airflow Line 7. It means that there is no airflow onto our Line 7 or it might be this airflow sensor that is causing this trouble for those who are new to this channel these co2 lines are connected onto each of our cargo hold and we have these two fans which are continuously running taking air samples flowing into these pipes all the way to this smoke detection system and this is to ensure that even there is no someone inside the cargo hold, we can still detect if there is fire onto the cargo holds. And the first thing that we need to do is to switch off uh, these fans so that we can open uh, this control panel. It creates vacuum once uh, these fans are running. We cannot be able to open uh, this panel. So after we switch off these fans, then it's time to investigate what is happening onto this line 7. And upon checking, the small hose that is connected to the airflow sensor is already brittle, thus it broke when I touch it. So it means that there is no proper airflow that is going to this airflow sensor. So what we only need to do is just to remove the connections of this airflow sensor and then we will bring it to the workshop and find if we can find this small hose. The reason why we have this airflow sensor is to ensure there is proper airflow onto our lines. Sometimes when this cargo hold hatch cover is being opened, then this moisture enters to these pipes and blocking the system. As you can see, this is one of those detectors that we disable onto our fire alarm panel. If in case we have a fire in the cargo hold, the smoke will enter these pipes 
all the way to each lines and then pass to the individual smoke detectors thus we will know which cargo hold is having this smoke or fire good thing i was able to find a substitute hose and we will just replace this broken hose and we are ready to install it back onto the system as an electrician on board we need to do this maintenance monthly and ensure that this system is properly working it is one of the most important fixed firefighting equipment on board as the vessel is also sometimes carrying this so-called dangerous cargo after installing back this airflow sensor as you can see the system is back to its normal operation the next thing i did is just to put back this multi-gas detector into the ship's office and charge it so that the next time it will be ready to be used and then i went back to the bridge as you can see this smoke detection system fail is no longer there and finally we need to put back those disabled smoke detectors from that smoke detection system all you have to do is to go to the disablement page and then press reset so that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and this is your lucky jake and see you